Yeah, how's everybody doing this evening? I want to talk a little bit about these statements Trump has been making because he's made a lot of outrageous statements and they uh, they probably, he's just going to keep getting worse and worse. He's not going to quit making these statements because he's getting a lot of attention for him. It's like the proverbial kid, proverbial kid that gets attention for his bad behavior. And he's getting a lot of attention and that's exactly what he wants. He loves the attention and he loves to be able to say these outrageous things and have everybody talk about it. So he's getting attention. He's not going to stop. He's going to continue. Most people would run from this kind of attention because it's very divisive. It's very um, controversial and it creates a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of people being angry. But Trump likes that. He loves anger. He likes to piss people off. He loves to get in your face and say things because he thinks that nobody can do anything to him. You know, nobody can say anything or do anything because of his position. And always because of his money and position, he's been able to say and do whatever he wants. So Trump loves this kind of divisiveness. He loves this. He lives for this. This is his, this is what he's all about, is creating controversy and saying outrageous things and playing to a group of people and playing to people that want to hear what he says and playing to people on race. He loves this thing. And if you don't think this is about race, you need to go back and relook at everything because this is exactly what this is about. And Trump's playing to a few people, quite a few people in this country that love to hear this kind of stuff. They like to hear the stuff. They like to, to hear, you know, this, the, the, the thing about the flag and the patriotism and how these spoiled, you know, athletes can't stand and salute the flag. And I listened to Jeff Sessions tonight and Jeff Sessions is as nutty as Trump. I mean, Jeff Sessions is the Attorney General of the United States. You would think he would have some, some, um, some reverence for the First Amendment. You'd think that he would have some affinity for the First Amendment. You'd think he would have some, some respect for the First Amendment. But this guy is as crazy as Trump. When he, I heard him tonight, and I mean, he'll sit there and tell you, no, it's not illegal. Uh, to not put your hand over heart and stand at the, you stand at the, uh, you know, stand in, uh, um, at the, you know, national anthem, and stand there with, uh, with your hand over your heart. That's not a, this, you know, it's not illegal not to do that. Your employer can't even force you to do that, but you need to do that. You know, it's not illegal, and your employer can't force you to do it, but you better do it. You know, if you're an American, you better stand there at attention with your heart, hand over your heart, and you better give respect for the flag. This is our attorney general. This is the guy that, 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 that's supposed to enforce the laws in this country and can stand there and say a nutty statement like that. Instead of the guy sitting there and going, look, you know what? It's, it's a nice thing to do, but you don't have to do it. And, and nobody's going to, you know, call you any less for not doing it. Nobody's going to say that you're any less of an American for not doing it. But this guy's not saying that. He's saying just the opposite, which is absolutely insanity. A patriot is somebody that stands at attention to the flag, but also respects somebody who doesn't do that. Or somebody who peacefully protests like the, the, the players, the, the, the uh, NFL players. That's a patriot. A patriot that can respect both, um, both sides of the argument. Not somebody that stands there and says, hey, you know, if you're not going to respect the flag, you're going to, you, you know, you're going to get called names. You're going to be fired from your position, your job, and you're going to be, uh, you're going to be called un-American. And you're going to, you're going to be ostracized. And, and, and you're going to be looked at less. And you're, and you're going to be called sons of bitches. You know, that's not a patriot. That's a Nazi. And uh, this is more of getting closer and closer to something like Nazism, where everybody has to be this nationalism and populist. And everybody has to be, you know, standing there at some sort of a position like a Heil Hitler with their arm out in the air. Now we've got to stand there with our hand over our heart and we've got to stand there at the, you know, at the national anthem because Trump says that's what you got to do to be an American. Not the First Amendment, not the freedom of speech, not the right to protest, not the willingness to, to, to you know, to, to go out and, and, and be able to object to certain things that are happening in this country in a peaceful, respectful way, and that's what they're doing. No, 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 you can't do that. No, you, 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 you can't do that. You're not, a, you're not an American, and we're going to call you out. You, you, you can get fired, you son of a bitch. Not only can you get fired, 
you could be called names and, 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 and you, you know, you could lose your employment, you could lose everything. This is the craziness that we're living under with Donald Trump, and he loves this stuff. He understands the patriotism about as well as he understands the Constitution and about as well as he understands the legal system in this country. And the other thing about Donald Trump is who should be fired is you, Donald Trump. You're the one that should be fired. You're the, you're the person that isn't respecting this country and respecting the First Amendment and respecting the right for people to protest you know, in a non-violent, non-threatening environment. You're the person that should be fired. You, you're bringing up issues that you have no understanding of and, and things that you shouldn't be talking about in a way that you're talking about them. You shouldn't be disrespecting people that are, that are, are protesting um, under the framework of the Constitution. You shouldn't be disrespecting these people. You shouldn't dis disrespect these people and you shouldn't be doing this. You're the one that should be fired, Donald Trump. You should be fired. I appreciate you watching. Thank you.